The stocks of wide cap resources rose by almost 6% to close at 9.75 on Tuesday, June 28th, as the company announced its plans to acquire XTO Energy Canada from joint owners Imperial Oil and ExxonMobil Canada. WCP's stock price jump helped the S&P TSX Energy Index gain over 4% during the session. Widecap has said that it's paying about $1.9 billion in total cash consideration and that the transaction is expected to close before the third quarter. So what's in store for the Whitecap stock and its shareholders? According to the company, the assets to be acquired cover over 672,000 squares of land and currently produce around 32,000 barrels of oil equivalent a day from the Duvernay and Montney formations in northwestern Alberta. The company said assets under management will expand its total acreage by over 500 percent and add 1,772 drilling sites in Montney. Additionally, it will hold 74,000 acres of land with 252 identified drilling sites in the prolific Duvernay. The Midcap Energy Company said that significant free funds flow from these assets would result in free funds flow per share accretion of 20% in the next two years. Furthermore, Whitecap said that this acquisition provides incremental free funds flow per year of about $200 million, allowing it to raise its monthly dividend by 22%. This is said to be effective from July for the dividend payable in August. Whitecap generated revenue of $1 billion Canadian dollars in the first quarter of financial year 22, significantly higher than the $448 million the year prior. As a result, the oil and gas company posted a growing net profit of $652 million in the latest quarter compared to $19 million a year ago. The $6 billion market cap company said its funds flow zoomed to $500 million in the first three months of 2022, which is relatively higher than the $187 million in the first quarter of 2021. Although despite this, Winecap Resources stock fell by nearly 57% year over year. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media.